Hey everybody, it's Mike from Landing Custom Classics. Done this before, but just in case any of you missed it, we're gonna do a tire on my automatic machine. On well, my manual machine, not automatic. I automatically just do it because I'm so good. When you change these, this machine will save you thousands. I've literally saved thousands of dollars since I bought this machine on Craigslist for 75 bucks. First thing you want to look at is which way the lip comes in. It's shallow on this side. That's the side it comes off of. It's pretty wide on this side. So you don't want to try to pull it off this way. So we're going to set this on. This is the spare for the Geo. Well, you want to set it the side you're not taking off first. So that you can break the bead. I already used my little tool to remove the valve core. And we just put this tool on here can be a pain to get it in there just right sometimes you gotta work it around especially on the deep side and hit it in a couple of spots it'll come off there you go once you broke your bead oh man that tire looked like brand new but this inside was rubbing on something and it's shot it's down to the threads didn't notice that when I got it okay I never run this on my outfit it was on an old minivan that I pulled. So you're going to put this over. Mine's got a little stem that goes in there to hold it in place so it doesn't turn. Put the ring on there. Since you're down tight. Then you're going to use your meat breaker on this side. Stay away from your valve stem. If you get near your valve stem, you're going to rip it off. And then you got to buy a new one. Uh, save you a couple dollars. Always work away from it. This little roller end here is for taking off. I go on the other side of my valve stem. Pull that off. Push down on the tire. Make sure it goes in the groove. If you don't go in the groove, you're going to tear the bead. And we're going to myself so freaking hard it hurt. Okay. Pop that off. Then we're going to pull her up. When you pull up, be careful. I had one real bad. I'm sticking this in here. Pull it up. And it slipped off. Nailed me right in the side of the head. Gave myself a concussion. End up in the hospital. Okay. I need to get a better bar. I think what I did, I slapped my knife there. The knife's clipped in my pocket right there. Then we're going to take this Goodyear Wrangler that's the right size, pretty much. My new tires are a hair taller, so I got them a little wider. Because I bought what size would uh, fit. I got a little size bigger because it's what's available. That's one thing to look at if you can. Get them cheaper and have a better selection. Might change the size of your tire just a hair. Just make sure all your clearances and everything work. This is just a Dawn dish soap and water. We're going to spray it all down so it makes it slick and you don't tear the bead. Helps it go on the seat better. Got my uh, compressor already getting charged up. So, my little brother, he changes a lot of tires. Had no idea you want to roll it on this roller, which I'm going to go down to bearing sales. Give me a little bearing to go on there. So I can bolt it down tight and it rolls good. Maybe even a little wide one. So what we're going to do, we're going to start this where it's going to go on by the valve stem there. And then we're going to push this around and get it up above on that roller. Then you're also going to work this down to where it sits in that groove. Because again, if you don't, you're going to sit here and pry on it so hard, and you're just going to rip your bead, then your tire won't work. You just ruined an expensive tire. I say this Goodyear Wrangler here is probably over $200. It's actually a spare that came with my outfit. So get her around there, and get that little bolt on there, press it down by my valve stem. These slipped off. That's 
that's okay. We'll get it back on. Okay. Get it over there. Don't want to cooperate today. This bead is slightly damaged, but it holds air good, so we're not too worried about it. Okay, sometimes it's almost better just put your knee up there. really don't want to cooperate There you go. Get some more tension on it. Yeah, this, this bead's tore a little, but it has a good outside rim. So it'll still seal. So when you damage outside of the bead, problems. So I got a little rubber coming off right there, but my my actual part of my bead is still good where it seats. And we're gonna take this off and hit that. Now a lot of people have a hard time getting them on the rims. It's usually because they're not using wide enough tires. So we're gonna take this over to the compressor. And we'll go from there. Oh, got to get my tool and my valve stem put back in here. Get the core in the valve stem. Okay. Won't hold air without that in there. But you got to pull it to take the pressure off before you can pop the bead and get the tire off. Okay. Off to the racetrack. It's kind of a junkyard around here. My dad's kind of a, a collector of sorts. Okay. We'll show you how to how to get your tire to seat good. Make sure you got a good view there. You got a big compressor over here. It's my dad's. We're gonna lean this against here good. I usually like to give her a few good kicks to help kind of seat it. Because on this side, you can turn it, you can kind of push on it. As long as you're using wide enough tires and you got things right, you normally don't have any problem getting this to seat. We put this on, we're gonna run her up to 32 PSI. Tire shop would have charged you forty dollars for that right there. Wait till she pops. There you go. You just got a pop on the other side. There you go. We're gonna run her up to thirty-two psi. If you want, you can put a little uh, soap around it. If you got any spots that are bubbling that are leaking a little, you usually hit the rubber with a sledgehammer, and it'll help it seat. It'll eventually work its way on and quit leaking. If not, you got a bad tore bead and you need a different tire probably. Sometimes, uh, if I have a hard time getting them to seat, like to seal and stuff, I have some uh, vulcanizing cement and I smear that around the outside and it helps seal them on. Make them seat good and not leak which I could use where this bead's kind of damaged. And we'll throw this back on the back of the tracker. Okay, everybody, we're back over to the tracker. Get our tire on here. Got our uh, lug nuts. This originally had a locking lug nut on one of them. But it was messed up and it wouldn't come off with the key, so I just took it off and put the regular ones on. I carry this with me. Makes it a little easier to change the tires. And what you pay for them, you might as well carry them because they're expensive. Okay. We're going to reseat our landing custom tire cover here. Got to get it all centered. 
Let's see, I got this off Amazon. Cost me a whole twenty dollars. Pretty good deal. Has ten feet of cord on it. See, so make sure we're all even and stuff. Work that back on there. It actually fits this tire a little better, a little less wrinkly because a little bigger. That other tire was actually a little small. And then we're going to loop our rope over the top, keeps it back behind there so it don't blow it around. And that's it. We got our tire changed, got our tire cover back on, everything's ready to go. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.